Listen, I've got this whole high school thing psyched out. It all breaks down into cliques. Cliques? Yeah, you know, cliques. Little in groups of different kids. All we have to do is click with the right click, and we can finally have a social life that's worthy of us. No way. Not even with cleavage. I told you, this year we're going to be popular. Yeah? Yeah. Even if it kills us. months, the Noise and Rocket Club hopes to launch another two-stage device from the parking lot if Principal Dingleman will let them after what happened to the window on the two cars. <laughs> it's not exactly Pulitzer Prize material, is it? Patty, we have to give this some time. Our next assignment might be to interview the wrestling team in the boys' locker room. Uh-uh, I checked. Our next story is Ronald Feinstein's Hamster Project. How's it going, girls? Wrap up the rocket piece yet? Well... We got it off the ground, but we may have misfired somewhere in the second stage. But I'm sure you'll be able to help us make it better, Mr. Donovan. At which point the crowd was informed that the rocket was a dud, as well as Principal Dingleman. <laughs> I wouldn't change a word. Do we really have to do that hamster story, Mr. Donovan? Call me Rob. OK, Rob. Uh, I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but let's face it, uh, not a lot happens in high school these days. In the 60s, it was different. Anti-war demonstrations, pot busts. But hamsters? Nobody could make them interesting. Listen, if you can capture their personalities as well as you captured Principal Dingleman's, I guarantee it'll be interesting. <laughs> Can I have some more of the yellow runny stuff and some brown lumps? What about those purple things? Never touch purple. Instant death. Ah, hello. Hey, hey, that was mine. Oh, I don't know, man. People, I have an extremely important announcement. As you all know, our Wee Indian, Roger Forster, has been expe... Well, let go. <laughs> For the remainder of the school year. Because he was unable to explain how some of the money for our little Guatemalan child wound up in his locker. <laughs> oh, Roger! Whatever else he did, however, he was a fine Indian. And I'm sure we will all miss his pep. <laughs> you know... With Roger, you missed a lot of things. Roger Forster. Like, he always had, like, little curly hairs hanging out of his nose, you know? Like, gross me out the door. <laughs> Since this leaves the important post of Weema Wee Indian vacant, we will be holding special elections this Thursday to find a successor. You never catch me jumping around like a geek with a bunch of cheerleaders. I certainly hope, like, not. <laughs> Unfortunately, Roger didn't tell us what he did with the costume, so we had to buy a new one. <laughs> Due to budget considerations, the costume is a bit smaller this time. <laughs> All right, simmer down. I am opening the floor to nominations. Well, I know who I'd like to see in that. I nominate Vinny Pacetta. Vinny Pacetta? So much for the dignity of the Native American. Maybe we can get Marlon Brando to organize a protest. Please, pass the butter. I have heard the will of the people, and uh, I humbly accept your nomination. Uh, people, 
please, are there any other nominations? No one? He's the only candidate? What is this, Argentina? Well, if you don't like it, do something about it, Marshall. Well, if there are no other nominations, I guess that leaves Vincent Pissetta as our new wing. Chairman Tepperman. Or I should say Chairperson Tepper Person. <laughs> How could you ignore anyone whose grandmother was a full-blooded Sioux and who spent all his summers at the reservation learning Indian customs at her knee? Fellow students, I nominate Johnny Slash. <laughs> Marshall, absolutely not. And anyway, my grandmother is Polish. But they have Indians in Poland. Haven't you heard of totem poles? Boy, Marshall, you sure show Vinny not. Yeah, you went right up there and hit him with a wet noodle. No offense, Johnny. Johnny, they speak with forked tongue. Being the Indian will be great. You get to see the basketball games, and some days you'll even get to miss school. I miss plenty of school just sitting in class. But if you were the Indian, Principal Dingman would have to let you get that Mohawk haircut. He would? Yeah. See? You're beginning to like it already. And I can be your manager. The Mohawk instead of the braid. No. The Mohawk and the braid. No, wait. The Mohawk, the braid, and an earring. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I've been saving these since 74. Boy, I enjoyed the morning paper in those days. Now, uh, who remembers Watergate? Okay, who's heard of Watergate? <laughs> oh, well, I was gonna get one of those for my bed, but I heard they leak, so... so Not water bed, Vinny. Watergate. Like, wasn't that a mini-series last year? Jennifer, that's like, right. But before that, it was real life. It was also the best sitcom on TV. Especially when you were really, uh... Anyway, uh, Watergate basically started as an attempt to win the election for Nixon through dirty tricks. Dirty tricks? Like what? Um, burglary, forgery, character assassination, <clears throat> nothing serious. Now, if you look in those newspapers, you'll find the most incredible... Wow! Ah, you found one, Vinny. Did you know that movies used to only cost two bucks? <laughs> Everything costs less then. <laughs> I mean, in those days, you could get really good... Anyway, uh, dirty tricks. Yo, Mr. Donovan. Rob. Yo, Rob. <laughs> Did you used to be a hippie? <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, uh, I wore long hair, but uh, I had my own business. Doing what? I was in sales. Now, the president's chief advisors... What did you sell? Commodities, OK? Now, Haldeman and Ehrlichman, who gained great... Do you think he means drugs? Are you kidding? He is completely anti-drug. He doesn't even do aspirin. Yeah, just like Johnny. <laughs> Look, Marshall Blackman taking notes. I don't believe it. This really angered a lot of people. Murder that little zit. You want to see a scalping? I'll show you an Italian scalping. You start at the neck. <laughs> hey, that's great. I didn't know you could draw. Don't give me that. You did this. Who, me? Well, that's ridiculous. I could put up posters like that, but it would be wrong. You little worm. Oh, easy, Pat, easy. Hey, what's going on? Dirty tricks is what? Vinny, you can't prove he did this, and he's innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, what do you think this is, Argentina? I am not a crook. I swear, let me make that perfectly clear. I am not a crook. All right, all right. I'm letting you off this time. But you do just one more thing, and this happens to you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Why does he keep calling us that? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know we're girls. 
You must be doing something wrong. <laughs> Let me ask you something, Patty. You think that Marshall put that poster up? I don't know. The joke wasn't bad enough. Anyway, Marshall doesn't draw gorillas like that. Friends, you say you're looking for an Indian mascot? Well, I've got just the brain for you. Yes, friends, he's the last of the Mohicans. And the first to admit it, he's a Chippewa off the old block. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. But seriously, folks. <laughs> now you can have this proud redskin at your very own basketball game. How? I'm glad you asked me that. Are you ready for star time? Because here comes Wee Wee's next Indian, and that's no sitting bull. <laughs> Hey, hey, come on, folks, what is this? Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. First, Mr. Facetta will demonstrate the dumbbell curl. Dumbbell? You know, you do enough of these, you can pump up your biceps three inches. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm warmed up now. I want to show you the lift that won a medal in the cruiserweight division at last year's tri-state meet. All right? 170 pounds. Well, at least this time we know it isn't Marshall, because Marshall's right over... Can you believe, Marshall? Who even cares who the Indian is? Few people realize that hamsters are susceptible to the common cold. I can't take much more of this. Why don't you say that when you hold hamsters upside down by their tails, their eyeballs fall out? Is that true? Well, it's true about guinea pigs. Well, how are the hamsters? Oh, great, Mr. Donovan. Look, even Woodward and Bernstein had to start somewhere, right? Woodward and Bernstein? Oh, you mean Dustin Hoffman and Robert Redford. <laughs> Woodward and Bernstein wrote the stories about Watergate that drove Nixon out of the White House. One of the worst disgraces in history. God, I love those guys. Hamsters are also among the cleverest of mammals. Patty, forget mammals. We're gonna be Woodward and Stringbean. No offense. We're gonna blow the whistle on Marshall like those guys did on Nixon. Lauren Marshall may be wrong, but he's still our friend, and we can't just Don't go make out. a movie about us, starring Candace Bergen and Jacqueline Bissett. Try Shelley Duvall and Shelley Winters. We'll be famous. People will love us. People? Meaning Mr. Donovan. Patty, it's our duty to expose Marshall, to protect the democratic process. Oh, my God, he's looking at me. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Lauren, I don't even know what we're looking for. We're looking for evidence for... What did Mr. Donovan call it? A smoking gun. Lauren, the only smoke we're gonna find in this school is in the boys' restroom. Aha! A footprint! See? I told you we'd find something. Well, Lauren, how do you know that's Marshall's? Who else would have been back here? Perfecto. Now, all we have to do is match this to Marshall's shoe, and we've got our smoking gun. Okay, now look, this afternoon is our big chance, so we gotta be great, okay? What we're gonna Hi, do Hi, Johnny, is... Johnny. Hi, guys. You gonna do a story on the Slash campaign? You can say that again. You gonna do a story on the Slash campaign? <laughs> I love it. Anyway, like I was saying, I really wanna go all out this time, you know? Lights, production values, the whole enchilada. Hey, did you know that our support has increased by 100%? Really? Yeah, we got another guy. <laughs> oh, my gosh! That's too much shoes, it'll eat right through. Don't let it touch your skin. Weird. Totally. Look it. Nike and Nike, it's a perfect match. 
Come on, we can write the story up before lunch is over. Wait, Lauren. Hmm? You're wearing Nikes, too. Who cares? Wait, Lauren. What? What are you doing? Great. Mine matches, too. So much for the smoking shoe. <laughs> By Weemowee Gate. Hello, hamsters. Patty, don't despair. Johnny and Vinny give their final presentations after school, right? Well, if I know Marshall, he won't pass up the chance to pull one more stunt. We'll catch him in the act. His face will be so red, they'll elect him Indian. <laughs> Where do you see this, girls? Are you gonna be surprised? We won't be the only ones. People! People! Before we begin, I have a special announcement. At 2.15 tomorrow, the Noise and Rocket Club will again attempt to launch a two-stage pre-orbital device in the parking lot next to the cafeteria. I'm sure I speak for all of us when I hope that this launch will not result in any broken glass in the fruit and jello molds. <laughs> <laughs> and now we come to our election. The Weema Wee Indian is a symbol of all we hold dear about our alma mater. So let us give this occasion the respect it deserves by joining in the singing of the school song, which both nominees have had the extreme good taste to choose for their musical portion of their presentation. <laughs> the first candidate for this coveted position is John Yulasiewicz. <laughs> Remember, keep it short. The girls' drill team needs the gym. <laughs> Indians are Cleveland by John Longknife. Surging through your streets on ponies, on old pennies, in books. From Bombay you came in canoes, face on TV test patterns. I salute you, Hiawatha, Injun Joe, Tonto. <laughs> Candidate will be Vincent Pacetta. <laughs> Big Chief Super Bad, master of all he surveys, greatest warrior of the seven tribes, and he gives the worst Indian burn you ever feel. <laughs> After a hard day of hunting, he likes to return to his tent and slip into something more comfortable. He just can't mellow out. I mean, the rhythm of the tom-tom is in his blood, and he's got to get down and do his war dance. <laughs>
We gotta tell you something, Mr. Donovan. Marshall's been... You rang? But you can't... Well, you're supposed... Where did you go? Johnny was worried about the election, so I gave him a jelly donut fix. Why? Patty, if Marshall's here, who is there? At peace again, he sits before his campfire. His day is done. <laughs> kill him. I'll physically kill him. sound like a McDonald's commercial, you know? But why? You, like, think I want every girl in school, like, drooling over your bud? Hey, you're jealous. Jealous? <laughs> That's such a laugh, it isn't even funny, Vinny. Well, I guess we'll have our election now. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, there's something I want to say. I hope this won't come as too much of a disappointment to my fans, but, uh, I'm dropping out of the race. You mean you're conceding? No, I'm just dropping out of the race. <laughs> Collect my votes tonight. In the van. I've never had to deal with a situation quite like this before. I haven't seen anything like this since Johnson dropped out. Celebrated for two days. I don't remember a thing. Oh, uh, you want to tell me something? Did you know hamsters are susceptible to the common cold? No. Well, I suppose this means our new Wee Indian is John Ulasewicz. this actually it's what you didn't do oh well i'll try not to do that more often <laughs> say uh, don't you think johnny's been acting kind of strange lately how can you tell i don't know he's been taking this indian thing too seriously too seriously <laughs> maze what your people call corn. <laughs> 